G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to episode four of our series into Australia's most invasive species. Now, so far we've talked about feral cattle, black rats, blackberries, but in this episode, we're gonna introduce you to the seventh most invasive species in Australia. So stick around guys, should be another very interesting video. Okay. In seventh place, we have the second plant on our list and that is Lantana. Now, in some ways, Lantana is kind of like the blackberries of the tropical north. They have a lot of the same effects. Like the blackberry, it was brought into Australia from overseas, in this case from Central and South America, and in the 1840s was introduced to botanic gardens in Adelaide and in Sydney. It didn't take long until it escaped out into the wild, and today Lantana covers something like 5 million hectares or 12 million acres of eastern and northern Australia. Now, just like blackberries, lantana grows very thickly. It's a vigorous plant. It smothers out other plants, reduces their ability to reach sunlight, and impacts a whole bunch of native species that way. Now, it's not just the fact that lantana grows so thickly that it's able to outcompete native Australian plants. It's also able to release certain compounds into the soil that reduce other seeds' ability to germinate. So any native Australian species that might try and give it a run for its money is just shot down at the knees again. It can't get up, can't get going. Add to this the fact that it's covered with thorns and it's toxic to a lot of herbivores and it's just not gonna go anywhere. It keeps spreading and spreading, out competing more and more Australian plants. The other major risk is that Lantana, the domestic version, is still available and kept by people in gardens around Australia. So there's a lot of varieties. And the risk that this poses is some sorts of cross-pollination that might make it more and more able to tolerate, say, colder climates, drier climates, and move into parts of Australia like Victoria and South Australia where it's not found in the wild today. So due to this plant's ability to occupy new areas and outcompete native plants, it's considered to be a threat to 95 threatened Australian species today. So there you have it guys, seventh most invasive species in terms of its impact on threatened species in Australia is Lantana, which makes it the second and the last plant on the list. Now from here on in, we should get a few critters that you're not surprised to see on there, but there is still a couple of surprises. So make sure you check on back next week. There's lots more uh, parts of this series coming. And if you haven't already, there's 200 other videos talking about Australian wildlife. So make sure you press the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. Between now and next week though, guys, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.